the wildfire that raged through Bocabec and Shamcook starting Sunday afternoon was reduced to 220 hotspots by Tuesday afternoon. Although it is still an active fire and the largest of 15 active fires in New Brunswick, evacuated residents were able to return home as of 2 p.m. on Tuesday. It's just shocking. I can't believe we still have a home to come to. This is just decimated around here. And I can't believe the fire crews have done what they've done. I can't believe the whole fire missed the house, missed the grounds. We have some trees and a few bushes that are a little bit scorched, but my goodness, nothing like this. Although only one home was lost so far in the fire, the damage to parts of the natural landscape is devastating, in some locations more than others. Two bulldozers are now on site helping firefighters gain access to hard to reach remote locations with the concentration on the northeastern part of the fire scene. Despite having more control over the blaze, the wildfire is technically still designated as out of control. And Public Safety Minister Chris Austin says re-evacuating residents is an ongoing possibility, especially with temperatures expected to be above 30 degrees Celsius on Wednesday and Thursday, coupled with sustained southwesterly winds of 15 to 20 kilometers with gusts of up to 40 kilometers. Air quality is being monitored in the region and at this point in time no alarms have been triggered. Water bombers continue to play an important role in stabilizing the fire. Seven water bombers in total plus a bird dog flew over 80 hours on Monday to establish fire retardant lines along the edges of the fire to prevent spread. 208 people registered with Red Cross in total during the evacuation, representing 86 households. And while almost all are able to return home, one family who lost everything have no home to return to. A GoFundMe page has been started by a family friend to help them start over. And Austin says disaster relief unfortunately doesn't apply in these circumstances. In order to qualify under, like say, the disaster financial assistance, it would have to be um, you know, a large event that would, that would fall under certain criteria. Unfortunately, this hasn't met that threshold. Um, so, you know, we, we do rely on individual homeowners to have their own house insurance uh, should an incident like this happen. But I, I can tell you, um, you've got a great community here in St. Andrews. And I know there's a lot of, uh, as well from the province, uh, heartfelt sympathy. When you lose a home, it's devastating. Up to 13 fire departments across southwest New Brunswick have been fighting the fire, many of them volunteers. Premier Higgs made a special trip to St. Andrews on Monday to meet with first responders and evacuees alongside St. Croix MLA Kathy Bacchus. And as you can see in the forest behind me here in Bocabec Cove, some of the hot spots are still smoldering. And while it looks like the worst is over, only time will tell if this forest fire will soon be deemed under control. Vicki Hogarth, CHCO Newsbreak 26, Bocabec. A news and public affairs production of CHCO-TV, New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.